guys, this is Rolando from Red Moto. Today we're going to be doing a 2010 Chrysler 200 front bumper replacement. Alright, so when you're putting the bumper back in, make sure you're aware of the lower cover that it goes in, inside and doesn't flap down the bottom. So you, you're going to have problems with insulation if you do do that. So, first I like to be lining up in the middle. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to secure the top while I work on the sides. Alright, since the bumper is lined up finally, we're going to secure it real quickly with this uh, screw. So now we know the bumper is not going to fall off, we're going to go to one side. So this one, the rebar is messing with the alignment, but basically you got to get it over this. And then the bumper right here, you have to get it over the, uh, the bracket also. So make sure it's over the bracket. Then you can push this in. All right, guys. So we finally got it to pop into place. But basically, the rebar was causing us a little bit of an issue because it's pushed in. So it's pushing the uh, the bumper back. So once you guys get the uh, the bumper intact on one side put a screw on it just like I did if you guys come over here I put that screw back on there I'll tighten it up so basically it's gonna hold this part while I work on the other side So on this side, I went ahead and uh, popped into place. We have a small little gap right here. That's because of the rebar is pushing this bumper that way. But the customer didn't want to fix the rebar, they want to fix it later, and that's perfectly fine. But we do highly recommend that the rebars are changed out because that is a reinforcement bar that's, that uh, causes the impact of an accident to be a little bit less. So it's a, it's a safety issue, basically. So once you get, get this bumper lined up, just go ahead and get the screw. And screw this one into place. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other screws put back on here. So on the, uh, we had difficulty removing these screws on that one side. So basically what you do is you go into the back of it. You come on this side. What was happening was this, this thing kept on rotating like that. So basically what you do is just hold down on it. And it comes right off. So if you have difficulty taking it off, just go ahead and take out the whole bumper and it's easier for you guys to hold it like this. Alright, I'm gonna put this back on the other side. So basically this this plastic piece goes into this hole right here. Just 
just like that. And this hole right here, just like that. And then push it back into place. Then you can go ahead and screw it back in. on our way on the bottom. So we're gonna put this push pin back in. So basically it's on this side. Push it and then push it down, okay? So it wouldn't be so hard if the rebar wasn't pushing this out, but I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna put this one down. So I'm gonna put this one in first right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. So the other two screws won't pop into place because it's just it just won't line up correctly. But we'll put the uh, the side panels back on. and buff it out, the shine would be just like the brand new bumper.
Alright guys, so that's how you install 2013 uh, Chrysler 200 front bumper. If you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to us. Turn on the push notification for other videos that we do have. And if you guys need any parts for your vehicle, go to revmoto.com where we sell pre and auto body parts. Thank you.